My name is Jonathan Lee. This is a pseudonym that I have been using for many years for my novels. I hail from Singapore, a tiny country with a big name. Big because Singapore or Singapura means Lion City. It is also a country with a Malayan as its friendly mascot. <laughs> and what is a Malayan? <laughs> it is our own invention. It is a creature with a lion head and a mermaid tail, a beautiful mythical creature based on the founding legend of Singapore. This founding legend is described in a somewhat irreverent manner in my two novels, Romance at Three Kingdoms Part 1 is Escape to Tomasek and part two is Fall of Singapore. I have even prepared two historical analyses for part one and part two to help readers distinguish between the historical facts and the fiction. The novels start off with a princess from Ming Dynasty China. She sails to the South Seas to marry the king of three realms, the three realms being Palembang, Bintan and Temasek. But our princess is led to believe that she will marry the young, handsome king of Tomasi. Will she bow to her king or will she run to Tomasi to find her love? And why this clash of royal titles to confuse our princess? These questions will be answered in part one, Escape to Tomasi, where we will see how the competing religions and ancestry of the Sri Vijaya Empire begin to clash, culminating in the murder of a prince. Part 2, Fall of Singapore, continues with the effect of that murder reverberating in the corridors of power in Ayutthaya, a Thai kingdom, and Majapahit, a Javanese kingdom. Ultimately, that clash will tear the Sri Vijaya Empire apart. While our princess is caught up in the middle of all this, she grows in stature as she amasses an army of her own to thwart the ambitions of these kingdoms. And in the final battle, she rescues her love from the jaws of death. How did she amass her army? How did she rescue her love? And what is that terrifying tree on Fort Canning Hill? And what happened there, that both high king and lowly fishermen did not dare to climb that hill for four centuries after that final battle? All these and more will be revealed in part two, The Fall of Singapore. Apart from these two novels, I have written four short stories. The first is Sex, Lies and Videotape. It follows the ebb and flow of a marriage seen through the eyes of a domestic pet, a dog who will prompt the question, what is a good man, a good husband and a good father? And are the answers to these three questions necessarily the same? The second story is Kenridge Capers. It looks at a university undergraduate, freshly minted teenage innocence on the cusp of manhood and explores the question what has sex got to do with romance and do we need sex for romance to happen at all and should society blame one or the other for messing them up the third story is the king's madness a parody on gender politics seen through the eyes of a lion cub he is but one amongst many lion cubs following a king lion and a harem of wives. Amidst all this, he asks, who benefits from monogamy? Is it a strong male who benefits at the expense of the weaker males? And who loses in polygamy? Is it a strong female who now has to share her man with others down the line? The fourth story is The Dinosaur and the Cockroach, a political parody. While it follows the antics of four schoolboys who fight off a group of bullies, the real question is, what is the leadership style and quality at the beginning of the story? And what is it at the end of the story? Should the two be the same? And if not, why should they be different? And with all these titles to choose from, 
I hope you have an enjoyable read. Thank you. Thank you.